My name is Alon Sariel, and I play the mandolin. When coming to adapt such a grand piece from the church organ to the mandolin, uh, there are a few aspects to consider. Obviously, the mandolin does not have the polyphonic possibilities of the church organ. We have only one plectrum to pluck the four or four pairs of strings, and uh, we don't have 10 uh, fingers to activate different keys, and we certainly don't have the legs to uh, press on the pedals and change the bass, which is the, the main uh, element when it comes to harmony. What I did try to do is to create the illusion of polyphony. And this is something that Bach was, of course, the great master of all. In his cello suites, it seems that he followed the question, how much can I omit from the chord uh, while still ensuring the polyphonic harmonic sensation for the listener? One trick that he uses is, of course, arpeggios. Instead of holding a chord, you can arpeggiate that chord, and this is something that a mandolin could do. For example, right in the beginning of the Toccata in Fuga, right after this uh, very famous beginning, Now comes this cluster on the organ where the whole instrument is roaring, lots of, of dissonances. And on the mandolin, it would sound like this. And then resolve. The first thing I would omit when arranging this kind of music are the octaves. The octaves don't really contribute something new and profound to the chord. And the, the thing that I must never omit is, of course, the theme of the fugue. You all know this theme. So when it comes later on in the piece, In this kind of place, you would have extra voices playing, for example. Which are left out. And what do we have? Because this piece is so famous and we all have it in our ears, I believe that our inner ear is kind of complementing the uh, missing voices. The version for the mandolin is a bit more narrow than the version for the organ, but it's not less uh, effective. Some would say maybe on the contrary, because the mandolin has the possibility with its piano and pianissimo to uh, create a much more lyrical and personal atmosphere. And there are certain spots in the piece that get a completely different lyrical and personal character, which is very difficult to achieve having the church organ. I hope you will like this arrangement and I hope you will rediscover the piece through the mandolin version.